I'm Rosie Baker, editor of Ad News. I'm here with Clinton Parr, the head of People and Culture at Clemenger BBDO Sydney. And we're here for the third and final installation of our video series on people and culture in the industry. So Clinton, in your LinkedIn profile, when I did a bit of stalking, you talk about bringing, delivering happiness and happy employees. Can you tell me a bit about that as your sort of approach that you take in your role? My personal purpose uh, in life is all around delivering happiness. It's something I've had for, I don't know, a number of years um, and it's just how I kind of make decisions and, and what sort of gives me focus. I don't know if I necessarily got into this job because it lines up or if that was just a happy coincidence but it's the focus for what I do in my personal life but also marries up really nicely to what I do in my work life. When somebody asks me what I do um, I tell people that my job is to make sure that everybody else is happier in their jobs so it just kind of lines up really nicely to myself. It's a nice purpose to have. Yeah. So in your role, um, what are the most important things you see you see about that role and what are the kind of challenges that you face in trying to achieve that? Uh, so at a very high level, I think uh, my role is about understanding the vision and the values of the agency and then making sure that all the people initiatives that we do line up to that vision. So our recruitment, our onboarding, our uh, performance management, um, culture, all those sorts of things uh, need to be pointing towards that vision. Um, if there's things that aren't, then it's my job to bring them back into line. Uh, and then underneath that, you've got things like pastoral care um, is a big one. Advertising industry by its nature is quite fast paced and a little bit stressful. And sometimes people need somebody just to chat to or vent to, or I, I drive around the beer cart or uh, give people a hug, you know, just that sort of thing. And then providing accountability and, and sort of strategic thinking to our people initiatives um, and how we make people happier in their jobs. And so you've been at Clemenger now for seven weeks, so relatively new into the role, but what are some of the things that you're already thinking about putting in place to make sure that Clemenger does have the, the kind of strongest culture it can have and the best people feeling the most positive about their jobs? Uh, I've probably got three big initiatives uh, that I'm working on at the moment. The first one is around our performance management system. Uh, the second one is how do we automate our people processes so that we uh, are not spending time on unnecessary admin and things like that. And the last one is around diversity. My biggest focus recently has been on performance management and, uh, and trying to kill off the annual 360 reviews, the dreaded reviews that everyone hates doing, um, and replacing that with uh, real-time feedback, um, coaching pulses, which are sort of 10 to 15 minute coaching conversations, and then quarterly performance check-ins. We're looking to roll that out probably beginning of next year. And that will kind of completely change the way that people give themselves objectives, set goals, and how they get feedback from their managers. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And it, it really ties into culture. So I think um, for too long, culture in agencies has been about, you know, who has the best parties and the most stock beer fridges and that sort of thing. But this really ties into the culture of how do we do things? How do we communicate with our people? Uh, how do we invest in them? And, and how do they invest then back into us? Why do you think that's so important within agencies? Because I know that you know it's a, it can be a very stressful job. There's a lot of times sort of mm. pitching. Why do you think that then culture is becoming so much more important? For a number of reasons. Um, we're no longer just competing with advertising agencies anymore. It's not just a, a little uh, community of agencies uh, and competing against ourselves. We're now competing with the likes of Facebook uh, and Shootster, everyone. Yeah, we're, we're no longer competing with just ourselves. And so they're comparing their uh, employee experience in an agency with what they're experiencing out in the real world and if we can't compete they'll leave our industry altogether. Um, millennials have a very different view of what they expect from their work now. They expect investment back into them uh, from their employer and in millennials make up you know, I think already over 50% of the advertising industry. And that kind of ties in with my next question, which is about how we attract young people or continue attracting young people to the industry because they are, you know, maybe more naturally inclined to go to a Spotify or a Facebook or one of those kind of newer digital sort of environments. How do we make sure that advertising is still appealing to young people? So I think it ties into this sort of stuff like leadership development and, and investing in careers and things for these guys. So this performance review process we're looking to bring in is around giving them career paths and, and a future. So when you're looking to hire, what's the most important thing that you look for? For me personally, it's all around culture fit and alignment to our vision and values. So we're looking for guys, uh, for Clemenger, they, they talk about the work, the work, the work. Um, so we're looking for guys who are passionate about creating uh, awesome uh, creative product. 
um, but also people who are going to fit in with our culture. Skills you can teach people a lot easier than you can teach values or, or culture fit. So for me it's, it's certainly around culture. And one of the things you mentioned as being one of your priorities was diversity and I know that that's a huge thing in the industry this year. There's a lot of issues around creative teams particularly and sort of yeah. promoting women into leadership roles but diversity is a lot more broad than just the gender debate. How are you kind of looking to focus on that within Clemenger and make, make sure that you're as diverse as you, as you can be because it's kind of a, you know, it's an un, unwritten rule that the more diverse group of people you have working on something, the more ideas and the more creative you get, which is a naturally good thing for a creative agency. Yeah, so this is a hot button uh, issue for, for the industry as a whole, I think, particularly over the last few years. Clemenger, I'm not responsible for any of these uh, initiatives so far, um, but they've done a really good job in actually trying to s understand our employee base as a whole um, and see how we stack up against uh, the industry but also just the, the Australian general population uh, looking at specific things around um, you know gender but also age uh, race all those sorts of things uh, they've put a few things in place like how we interview people has changed when we did our grad program this year uh, we removed all the information out of people's CVs that would um, bias uh, the selection process in any way to try and um, get rid of that and, and have a more diverse group. And then we are investing quite heavily in the agency circle which has come up recently. I think we did their website and are looking at um, really challenging the rest of the industry to, to get involved in, in tackling these issues. What impact do you think it will have on the industry if everyone kind of invests a bit more kind of time and resource and energy in, in broadening diversity out? I think it will just uh, make us more relevant to Australia as a whole. When you're looking at uh, the typical advertising person living in Bondi or Lower North Shore, uh, young upper middle class um, and comparing that with the general population, it's ridiculous to think that we can communicate really effectively to, to those other uh, groups um, and it will just make us more relevant to those people in general. Clinton, thank you so much for coming in today and being part of our video series and thank you for watching the three episodes of our video series on people and culture in advertising and media.